be filming some electrofishing. The way electrofishing works is we have a generator that produces a high amount of current that goes into what's called a pulse box. And through that pulse box, we make several adjustments so we get the proper voltage and amperage. The current comes out of the pulse box into some booms that are extended out to the front of the boat. When we have a anode droppers, we have several different anodes, uh, stainless steel, that produce the current. The cathode is the bottom of the boat, so anything that gets between the anode and the cathode pretty much gets shocked, and any slight feel all around there. The fish are shocked up, we dip them up, uh, collect data on them, and put them back into the lake. right there. If you were in a tournament and you were trying to get a 16 inch fish, that would do it right there. Barely. Yep. 16, 988, male. That's a good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. got that picture. Yeah, with uh, Ben. He 16 and a half. Wouldn't hold the fish. All males, 10-10. We're going to tag this one, Phyllis. Okay. 17 and a half inches. 1,500 grams even. Good fish. What's his number? Number 887. Looks good. So, see the tag in him here? Uh huh. We'll put him back in. If you catch him again, see how much he's grown. Will do. We'll go five to seven. We'll go four to five. We'll go four to five. We'll go five to seven. And we'll go four to five. Fish. Oh, look at that gizzard cat. He just spit it up. Oh, did Two it? of oh. them. Two. Get that footage, Billy. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever had two in a mouth before. Wow. Get him breathing. That's really cool hungry. stuff, man. Yeah. Look, he's chomping it down, back down. Yeah. He's going back down. You see that? Boy, it's a two tails to one. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. <laughs> Can you get? Well, that's a big one. We don't know. A lake audit involves not only electrofishing, but while we're on the body of water, we're collecting data on. We not only collect data on the fish, but we're on water quality analysis, alkalinity, hardness, pH, dissolved oxygen, visibility. And then we'll also look and see what kind of fish habitat is there. If you have enough dense cover, if you've got some open cover for fish to hang out, what's your spawning habitats look like. 
and we'll go ahead and look at basic observations of the dam, make sure the outlet structure is intact and working properly. We'll pull all this data that we collect into a PowerPoint presentation and then send that out to the clients, making recommendations on what to harvest, what to stock, fish feeding, fertilization, water quality improvements, aeration, and tie that all together and hope the, hope the client grows some big fish.